hi guys how you guys doing welcome to my channel hi my name is paul and rashani here in this channel i share everything lifestyle from workouts from uh vlogs and my faith in jesus and everything else good fitness everything good if any of these are interesting to you please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe consider subscribing all right guys so i am back again with my ranting videos i haven't done a ranting video in a while and i am here to do one because i have i have observed a few things in my life on these years that i've lived on this earth i have come to realize that life is good and we should always be thankful in every situation in our lives especially if we profess to be Christians and when I say a Christian I am mean if you are born again if you are born again if you have given your life to Jesus Christ if you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior if you have left your old life the life of sin you know, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yes, if you have left that life behind and you have given your life to Jesus, then you are born again. If you confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe it in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you are born again. The old has passed, new has come. And um, I'm here to say that I am so thankful that uh, God has has changed me like he has really transformed me to the person that I am today because without him without him without him and without his son Jesus Christ and without the Holy Spirit I wouldn't be where I am today excuse me guys I am at home comfortable so if y'all see some little bit of sting on my shirt yo that's toothpaste okay <laughs> trying to brush my teeth at night going to sleep you understand like I'm half asleep Right, so like I was saying, I am thankful that God has changed me. God has delivered me. Like I've said this, I always keep, I always say this over and over and over again. Like I was a person that was possessed by demons. A lot of, a whole lot of them too. Not just one, not just two, a whole lot, a multitude. <laughs> but I thank God that he delivered me. He delivered me in 2017 and I have never been the same since, okay? And he is still, you know, delivering. I mean, he is still, you know, doing his job, doing his work in me. Because, you know, it hasn't been easy, you understand? It has not been easy. But I thank God that I am, I am where I am today. And one thing that I've noticed, one thing that I have come to learn is, um, when you become a born-again Christian, it's, Life does not get easier. Life gets harder because then the devil knows that, hmm, this one is for real. So I'm going to try to attack. So I have come to realize that the devil will throw in some temptations here and there trying to trying to, uh, devour, to, to devour you. The Bible says that the devil is a rolling lion. He is like a rolling lion looking for somebody to devour. And you don't want to be that somebody that the devil is going to devour. So as Christians, you have to be very, very careful not to open doors for Satan to have a legal, a legal um, 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 entrance into your life. Because Satan cannot come into your life unless you allow him to come in. So that means that you don't want to sin. And if you do... If you do miss the mark, you've got to repent right there. And then when you do repent, you don't go back to that same sin again. Because the Bible says that when a demon has been casted out, it goes out and about, out and in the world, looking, 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 looking where, you know, we understand. And he's going to say, look, I'm going to go back to my house that I used to live in. And I'm, I will, before going there, I will bring more evil evil spirits more stronger than me so when they go back to that person's house which is their soul their spirit the state of that person will be worse than before and so you don't want that so you if you are a born again christian if you profess jesus christ as your lord and savior you've got to live a life of righteousness you've got to live a life of holiness Meaning, 
You've got to stop sinning willingly. You understand? It is possible to live a life of 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 of, of not sinning. It's possible to live a sinless life. And what I mean by sinless life is a life that you are not deliberately sinning against God. I understand that we're not all perfect. We are not Jesus Christ. We are not. <sighs> all right, guys, I was distracted. Somebody came knocking on my door and it was one of those people. I don't know what they want. So I just gonna ignore them. So like I was saying, you've got to live a life of, of, of holiness, not sinning deliberately. Like I was saying, we're not Jesus. We're not okay yeah we're we're not god but god the bible says that those who were born again god will come and live inside of them and they will be they will become one so that means if you have god inside of you you have god the father jesus and the holy spirit living inside of you that means you have no room of sinning you have no room of actually deliberately wanting to sin meaning that you don't want to lie on purpose you always want to tell the truth at no whatever cost. You always got to tell the truth. You always have to tell the truth. You don't want to curse or have profanity in your mouth because you don't want to do that. Um, What else? You don't want to do something that is going to make somebody else angry or hurt their feelings. Because the Bible says a love is love on one another as you love yourself. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Okay, you, if you love yourself, you, you wouldn't do something to yourself that is not good. So don't do it to your neighbor. You know, stuff like that. Don't commit adultery, you understand? Don't go over there and, and sleep with somebody else's wife or somebody else's husband. Even though they may come and tell you, oh, this, this, or this, or this, or that, or not, you know, stuff like that. You know, don't try to come for people by, you know, doing the wrong, you understand? Don't, don't cheat on your husband. Don't cheat on your wife. Always be loyal. If y'all, if you and your husband or whatever are not in good terms, don't cheat on them. That's not the solution. You can't, okay? Don't do that. Don't commit adultery. Don't fornicate in the same. Don't have sex before marriage because that's where everything just, that's how people get demons, y'all. Like, demons come in in all kind of, kind of ways. And the number one way that people get possessed is by fornication having sex before marriage with somebody that you have not yet committed to yourself in the marriage. You understand? Don't do that. Going to the clubs, drinking, and all that stuff. Those things open doors for demons to come in and attack you. You will have strange dreams. You will have some weird things going on in your life, and you don't even know how it started because you open these portals, guys. You open the portals. Don't open these doors for the demons to come in your life and do all kind of crazy stuff. So, when you become a born again Christian, you want to stop all that and be filled with the Holy Spirit. When you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you are not going to gratify the desires of your flesh, which are drinking, fornication, lying, pride, the lust of the eyes, you know, things like that. You know, yeah, basic. Those are the basic, you understand? They're or deeper things than those but you are not going to gratify the desires of your flesh but you are going to gratify the desires of the holy spirit which are holiness righteousness patience you understand those type of things you know cleanliness you know yeah you are going to gratify the desires of your whole of, of, of the spirit you understand the holy spirit that lives inside of you yeah so guys and if you want to um if you want to live a life of not sinning and a life of holiness then you've got to have a strong prayer life a strong prayer life and have a genuine relationship with jesus christ meaning that you talk to him like you talk to your friend you understand you don't want to go to God when you are in trouble. You don't want to go to God when you are all of a sudden you're sick or you're in trouble. You don't want to go to God at that time. You want to go to God. You want to talk to God every single day. 
you want to you want to invite him in your conversation in your mind in your heart whatever you know you know think about him talk to him tell him how you think how your day is going you understand ask him how's it how's everything over there knowing that he's the king of kings like he owns the world you understand i ask him how what's up like what's going on with him? no seriously I'm, I'm not kidding you know, invite him in your conversations. Have a genuine relationship with God. You understand? He wants to, he is your friend. He wants to become your friend. And God is not going to force himself on y'all, guys. He is a gen he's a gentleman. So, if you, yes, so have a genuine relationship with him. Pray in the spirit. Pray. Talk to him. Pray. You know, have that relationship with him. A relationship that you will be having with your husband, with your wife or with your best friend tell him everything tell him your secrets like, like he already kind of know anyways understand be honest with him and everything like that and you know in doing that you open door you open the way for, for you know you get closer to god and when you get closer to god he gets closer to you you know he says come closer to me and i will what the bible say? It said draw nigh to me and i will draw nigh to you you know if you go farther from him he gonna go further from you but you've got to make that step to get closer and closer and closer to him. Now, I'm talking about Christians. If you are already born again, you've got to make that step now to get closer and closer and closer to God. Now, if you are not born again, Christian, then God, now this is this is God reaching out to you because I'm telling you what I'm telling you, what I'm telling you, that God is, God is reach, reaching you right now, telling you to stop what you're doing and repent of your ways and come to him. Repent of your ways and come to him and, 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 and have that genuine relationship with him. All right, guys. Like, seriously, that is all I have today, guys. I know it's a rant, but I hope that rant was a positive one. I hope it did not bore you. I will come back with some more, guys. I know I always say this, but I get distracted sometimes and I want to do other videos. But seriously, I will try to commit myself at least one or two videos every week concerning you know, juicy topics about Christianity and, you know, you know, relationship with Jesus because Christianity is not boring. It's actually so much fun, y'all. It's, it's a lot of fun knowing that you are protected by the most high God, the one that rules the world, the one that is in control, the ones that owns the cattle on a thousand hills, you understand? So life can never be boring. Life is awesome. You understand? Don't let, don't, don't let anybody deceive you that being a Christian or following Jesus Christ is boring. It's actually good. You have security. You have assurance. Everything. Like you, your life is paid for. But point blank. All you got to do is keep it holy. Keep it righteous. And all is good. You understand? Don't let nobody deceive you. You understand? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, comment down below if you guys like these type of videos. If even if you don't, I'm still gonna do them anyways because I know there's somebody out there that will benefit from these kind of videos. But if you do, give it a like, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, guys. Deuces. Bye.